a lot of people who would look at the Mars One project, mm -hmm. and there is, it's a bold idea, it's a big idea, and here on this show we love big and bold ideas. But how did you hear about Mars One first and become interested in it? Well, um, I, heard, I heard about it well, uh, this 2013 when they right. opened up the, the application process, and my business partner that I actually worked with him, he was a previous employer too where I worked at, I mean, previous coworker, I mean, he was a coworker in a previous employer job, and he, he's the one who told me about it. He's always been a sci-fi fanatic, and he said, um, he said, hey, why not apply for this? You know, we're we're working, we're basically working for the aerospace industry and space. We're you know, we're there, so why not? And then so I researched, I researched it. I'm like, hey, you know, like I'll, I'll look at it, I'll look into it. And then as f farther I researched into to, to it, and I saw the the mission and the goal. That they're trying to create and they're trying to accomplish, I realized that this is a life-changing opportunity for any any human being out there. And you know, this this private company is actually trying to change the world and changing the whole way we think about pushing through the limit and pushing through the boundaries of what humanity can can overcome. And uh, and also with the progressing capabilities and technologies out there this company is pushing that boundary and they're trying to you know, accomplish something that nobody had accomplished before. Agreed. And I really like it, that's why I signed up. And well, I think a lot of people would say you're very courageous and innovative. And one of the things that I thought was interesting when I was looking at some of your videos explaining why you should go mm -hmm. and what you do, one of the things that crossed my mind is like, well, wait a minute. You mention in your video the finite resources and raw materials that are here on planet Earth, mm -hmm. and you are in that business, so are you a prospector? Is that your primary uh, reason? Well, Michael, that's, that's a really great, thank you for bringing that up. Um, that's one of the reasons. That's not one of the primary, but that's one of my reasons, and if I can clarify more on it, um, yes, um, I'm talking from an experience of a distributing raw materials to to the industry of where they need it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, and I see as our technology progresses and our, as we advance, we use more and more rare materials, minerals out there that you know that is that is um, valuable to living to mm -hmm. to our earth and to what like we use it for our phones, we use it for computers, we use it for everything else. Like it's not like back in the 1800s, 1900s, like you only use iron and, right. and steel, but now we're used more and more different rare raw exotic material metals. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, it's not, mining is not gonna be infinite. It's not, it's, there's gonna be a finite, you know, it's not unlimited. Right. And one day we're gonna be vulnerable. And now is the time to space explore and find out what we can find, you know, explore out there and discover. And by discovering rare materials in another planet and maybe finding a breakthrough of something that we can use for Earth, why not? Mm -hmm. Why not, you know, if we have that capability? So that's what I feel like. And I have three other reasons why I want to go to Let's Mars. And another one is preserving humanity. I mean, I don't, this goes back to the first one. It's like, hey, if we overuse all our rare materials and also if we, if we something happens, I mean, I don't want to sound negative, mm -hmm. but I can walk out of this door right now, and something can happen to me. Sure. It could happen to our sleep, and and a backup plan. So that's why another reason why I go preserving the humanity in on Earth, here on Earth, and the future generations to come. And the third reason why I want to go is, I feel that us human beings have the awareness, and we have that that knowledge, that awareness of time and death, that awareness uh, and capability of, of doing things. And mm -hmm. I feel that we owe, this, we owe this to not only just preserving humanity, but to other species here that's, on Earth. That's an interesting point. And you know, we have that. I mean, we, we can move, we can, we, ha we can fix things. We, are, we have emotion, you know, we're emotionally there and mentally and capable 